All right, guys. Well, this is the second part to my video from like months ago. I didn't get a chance to um, change this, but now I finally got to buy the part because I mean I had it held just like that, but it started acting up again. It was coming out, so I went to the uh, Freiliner dealer and I bought the new part, a hundred and seventy-three dollars for this solenoid. I couldn't find it any cheaper on eBay or Amazon so I had to buy it and that's the part number if you guys need it um, and this is again it's a Columbia 2006 and for those that probably don't know what this is is the one that uh, controls the fan clutch to either keep this uh, to engage the clutch when you need to cool off the uh, uh, system you know so um, what we're gonna do right now is just remove these two um, fittings first I'm gonna remove the airline and uh, again I'm just uh, using my phone so it's probably gonna be in clips all right guys so I figured that it is a 15 millimeter and I'm using the uh, um, wrench that's for like uh, airlines and stuff so I had already broken that loose you know so it's already loose I'm gonna go ahead and remove that fitting from there like so you know and then I'm gonna remove that one from there okay guys well seems like it's an 11 mil on this one but I'm gonna have to use both hands because I'm gonna grab this one with one wrench and twist this because if I try twisting it it's pretty flimsy from this bracket so I'm just gonna bend that bracket so that's what I'm gonna do right now sorry guys let's see if I can you guys down here well I mean you guys get the point you know I just grab hold this one Hold the bottom one open and wrench or whatever size it is. Okay guys, well it's time for the big daddy. I actually need to remove that bracket because this bottom one uh, hose, it's coming out, but this one as you can see is stripping. Um, I mean, I got new fittings anyway, so should be good. But I'm gonna have to just remove this from there and there we go i was trying to do it by hand but they say work smarter not harder so now that i got that out i'm gonna be able to just spin this out from from this nut and there's that air because i didn't release the air but here here's the old one and like I said, you know, for some reason water got inside there and it got corroded and uh, corrosion happened. And here is the new one, you know. Um, so it comes with this fitting and this one, I'll have to remove it and put it on this port. And I'll just have to remove this one as well from here. We have that one and the bracket. All right, guys, so uh, we have switched the uh, fittings already. Put this one, this one. Here's the old one. And I just need to remove this bracket. I know it's so rusty, but hopefully I don't have any issues with it. All right, guys, well, it broke off once I tried to remove it, but I'm glad it broke off because at least, you know, uh, I have uh, some bolts in there that I can use. It's always good to have spare stuff in your truck. Okay, so I had to find other screws because the first one that I was gonna use broke because I guess this is that type uh, of uh, nut that just uh, barely can screw on. So that didn't work. And, um, I got it all, all the fittings that I needed, and now I'm gonna put it back in the uh, 
place. All right, guys. So I was able to um, find this nut, and this is my brother. Yeah, give me a second. Say hello to YouTube, brother. Well, yeah, just gonna tighten that one up, and we should be uh, ready to fire it up and uh, see if we have any leaks. Garbage because I, I could try and fix it, but it's not gonna work anyway. So, I'll see you guys on the next video.